Meghan Markle here. Today is March 3rd, 2022. It is 3.47 a.m. I, I know I've been saying it for the past couple of videos. I wasn't going to record my day off. Literally today I was trying to stay in bed and uh, I'm just laying there looking at the ceiling. So I had some tweets that I bookmarked for me to share when I do record. So I'm just going to do it. I may not even um, edit them today. But today I just want to relax and stuff. All right. So new subscribers, welcome. 1,715 subscribers. And look at my estimate again. $268.52. This cannot be. No way. This is too low. Because we have people watching my videos. They're not in 2000s, but people are watching them. All right. So these are not live yet. I have these set up for you guys for the until what March 11 okay so I'm good until March 11 so let's see here yesterday's video 403 views the day before 599 views and the day before that 420 the day before that uh, 712 views and my most popular videos of all time okay it's people are still watching it 3049 views okay so that estimate cannot be it cannot be okay two hundred sixty eight dollars and fifty two cents and it cannot be okay let's go on twitter all right um this i'm gonna come to it because i bookmark it already um but let me do it in the order that i have uh i have it uh, set up all right this is unicef medicine first aid kit midwifery kit surgical equipment as conflict spread in Ukraine, UNICEF is delivering life-saving supply to children and their families. This is how you can help. All right. So I'm not going to go to the link to the article. Just know, you know, you, you guys could check it yourself. Things that needs to be donated. All right. I want to volunteer. I'm a Nigerian um, in Nigeria. Okay. That's thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is where we need to... Keep on a close eyes on this organization like Red Cross, all of these. I've spoke about them before. I'm not saying UNICEF is doing anything bad because I don't know. But the ones that I was aware of, I spoke about them like uh, Red Cross and stuff. I spoke about them. Let me go to the next tweet. Okay, there's this here. Putin's gangster capitalism largely remain untouched in London. A great deal of noise and distraction, but Tory Donner's pals remain intact. I, and I'm like, I don't know why the prime minister is still in office. I really don't know. But guess what? I don't know anymore because my little self, non-political, analytic kind of person, I was able to see everything that was going on. All right. This, the same thing that's happening in UK was supposed to happen in the US. But people in the US fought in 2020 election. And we're still hanging by a thread because there are many Republicans and Republican states are preventing a lot of things because I think there's going to be election coming up. So we're still hanging on a, on a thread. And what happened with Putin is that he knows he got his people everywhere. This is why he continued with it, because the midterm election, if the U.S. don't go vote for the right people, this is going to be worse than what we see. We think he's going to stop at Ukraine. 
think again. Okay? This is what happens when people just sit back, let things happen. Okay? It's going to be worse if the midterm election don't go uh, to the right people. Okay? There's people uh, talking here. Why is it Boris by name? I don't care. By nature. I can't read this word. Okay, yeah. And the supply of petit de Noyes grass. I think, uh, is that a French? Okay, well shredded pool fox will remain uninterrupted, no doubt. It's the little thing that count in hard times, isn't it? Okay, Jensen get a cut of every transaction. That's right. That's right. This is a business for them right now. This is a business. They know, the, the Russian know, they need uh, places for safety and all of that. So that was going to be the U.S. You don't touch their asset, you get a cut of it. This is why Trump was fighting so hard. Okay, and he's still in, I don't know why those media are giving him uh, a platform to talk his nonsense. All right? He might change his tune as we get close to election. Okay, he might try to change his tune, but his goal remained the same. Okay, what we saw in his first term remained the same. It does not change. All right, I want them wound up. I'm really not happy. Uh, I mean, you guys saw the thing. They saw the uh, the little shiny object racism in front of you. Uh, this is why they want to get rid of, uh, um, what is it, black people in the country? Because they cannot fool many of the blacks. Okay, they cannot fool them. So they're throwing them out of the country. So you guys, you don't know pain. You guys going to feel some pain later on because of your stupidity thinking it has to do with race. Your race is much better and all of that. You guys were voting out of spite. Okay, but reality remained the same. All right, so Russian assets. Where's the Chinese money Barry received? Uh, why we don't even need the Russian report now to see that the conservative party collective head is so far up the backside of the Russian bear. They could all get job as food tasters. <laughs> that is right. That's right. Okay, what about the Chinese money for labor? Okay, not many Tories still intact. Mm, I don't know. I'm not in the UK. I don't know. Okay, we see you, Boris, for what you're doing. I mean, proof, please. I mean, if you guys want to see it to your face, it, <laughs> mm, let me move on to the next one. All right? I saw it and I thought I'd share. Next tweet. Okay, Ian Lucas, quote, Russian interferences goes right to the head of British politics. Putin's Russia has been directly interfering with Western politics. The government has failed to take action. Worse, it's taking millions of pounds of donation from Russian organizations. All right, two minutes and 20 seconds. I saw it, but I didn't listen to the video. Let's see. Just how deep does Russian interference or meddling in UK politics go, in your opinion? It goes right to the heart of uh, <laughs> British politics, and it's been there for 10 years or so. Um, for the past 10 years, Putin's Russia has been directly interfering in Western politics to try to divide the Western alliance. What do you make of oh, fast track? What did I say? That I've, I've been saying this. I've been saying this. Look at how Trump was trying to get America out of uh, some alliances, some agreement with Europeans and all of that. Okay? So this is not new. I mean, these people, they wait until things hit them in the face. That's when they get the shocker. I remember uh, it could have been since se September, as early as last September. Something it has to do with politics. I try not to, from this point on, I try not to comment into U.S. politics because many of them, they're waiting for things to hit them in the face for them to realize this is what's going on. I, I don't remember how the tweet went, but I went and... It's like I walk through all of the steps and I give them the final product, <laughs> right? My, that's how my comment was about. Oh my goodness, so many people came after me, blaming me this. You don't know how this happened, this and that. Everything they were saying were true. Don't get me wrong. But because I gave them the final result of all of the steps that I've already seen happening and were going to happen, and I, my comment was based like things they didn't see yet. So I get bombarded with all sort of hate thing and all of this. And then all I had to do, I blocked them. And then I had to delete my comment because they were coming after me. Guess what happened? Two months later, exactly what I said on the tweet, that's exactly what happened. So I was like, you know what? I will never, I mean, I'll not say never, but I made a promise to myself not to comment on US politics because these people, things have been so good to them 
okay? Certain ways, I'm assuming, okay, have been so good to them, they don't see things that's going to happen. When you are not in control and in power, okay, and you're following a certain group who is in control, all right, you're going to be a freaking puppet. All right, so I took, um, I went off topic a little bit. Let's listen to this. I move it back a little bit. Try to divide the Western alliance. What do you make of fast track legislation that's being brought before the House of Commons today? Obviously fast track because of what's happening. Do you have much faith in it? Will it have the teeth that needs to tackle the root cause of this problem? Well, I think when we see the pictures that, that Sky have been showing in the past few minutes, everyone will agree that we need to take action really fast. And I'm sure that right across the House of Commons now, it will be welcomed. But I have to say that I was in the House of Commons for 18 years, and up to 2019, I was making speeches calling for action to prevent Russian interference in British politics. And again and again, that uh, action was denied, and the government failed to take action themselves. <laughs> This is what happened when people see that what's going on. And the thing is that when you think of if it's everything is about money, you got, you got it coming for you. Because with your behavior and attitude, look at the uh, the poll that I put on my uh, community board on PYTE channel. All right? I give them life, uh, what is it, a life worth of money, okay, or a life worth of clean water. All right? Look at those people who's running for safety. Most of the time, their money won't even bother, okay? Won't even be in, in need because they probably can't even take it out and that they are running. If you have been a good person, this is where things could come into play right now, all right? You are a good person. You'll see people will be more than happy to help you for free. This is the thing many people need to understand. And also accumulation of stuff, material stuff does not work right now. Okay, how many of these you, um, you Ukrainians have worked so hard to buy a house, whatever they had in Ukraine? How many of them have worked so freaking them hard to earn whatever they had? And look what's happening now. Okay, this guy is gonna burn the entire country to the ground, and then he's not gonna stop there. Now he's gonna move on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So people better come together and stop him. All right? And all those people who are enabling him, I don't know. I don't know. Worse, they were actually taking the government, the Conservative Party, millions of pounds worth of donations from Russian, Russian linked organizations. And we have to ask the question why it is. This, is, this has never been investigated hmm. in British politics. Yeah. Uh, this is the same thing that they, he did, you know, the Russian did with uh, the uh, Republican Party over here. The Republican Party is pretty much Russia, okay, for the Russians. It is said for so many people who have worked for our freedom, and this is what's going to happen. Many people, whether you are uh, racist or whatever it is, but your great-grandfather, your father, and probably some of your kids who have fought in many wars for the U.S., better take a good look at what's happening right now. We are making these people death out of vain, okay? As early, and I think in my videos yesterday, which is on um, um, RPU Team Sussex, okay, I think, it, what's his name? Tillman, okay, the football player who went and um, uh, enlist after 9-11 when the building collapsed. Uh, he went and uh, enlist and gave up his career football. I mean, he didn't have to, but he went and did it. But meanwhile, you had Trumps who was, uh, you know, all he was worrying about is that his building is the tallest building in the uh, in Manhattan. Okay, these kind of things we need to think about. Okay, even though they don't want people to learn about history, but we were there. We can't forget this stuff. Many of us were still alive when these things were happening. Okay, don't let your reality uh, miscued or uh, distorted by people who wants to control your mind. This thing as early as 2000, a lot of things were happening or even 2001. Okay, I even went a little bit earlier, a year earlier. So my goodness. Yeah, Ian, um, I was reading a thread on social media by the journalist, the Guardian journalist, Carol Cadwallader, who has been following this story like you for a number of years, been doing, doing in-depth reports. And she said, look, we call it Russian 
interference, Russian influence, Russian meddling, call it what it is, it is warfare. We have been hmm. fighting That's a right. war with Russia That's right. um, for the last eight years or so. It just hasn't been called that. What, what uh, Russia is... I wish I could find that, uh, that thread, but this person is absolutely right. We have been at war, okay, since President Obama came into power. When he realized he cannot buy President Obama, what did he do? He went around Obama. I said it in one of my videos. He went around him and then poisoned all those Republicans. Okay? We've been at war for a very long time. Look at all those uh, gun control law President Obama wanted to do. What did the Republicans say? No. You know, like it's supposed to be a wild, wild west. Putin wanted us, Americans, to kill each other. And it has been successful. Look at the pandemic. They allowed to come in. President Obama left a blueprint how the next president could uh, tackle pandemic. This guy threw the thing away. Millions of Americans die. Let's give credit where credit is due. If as evil as it is, his evil mind, he did his homework. Okay? Put and did his homework. Jane is fracturing not just the alliance between us and, and our allies, hmm. but also our British society by creating different camps, yep. often by spreading false uh, information right across our political system. And what we've seen in the past few years has been the division hmm. that, that we all know exists in Britain today. That's why right. these are the things so many people don't even know happen, uh, a problem that they have and all of a sudden, it, they create the Tories, I'm assuming, create a, a, a how do you call this, a, a, a problem that uh, all of a sudden, all the, the, that's like the shiny object, the cancer of our society, okay, that's mystical kind of problem, and all of a sudden, the true problem, food, shelter, and, uh, you know, happiness, Many of you all forget about that and follow the shiny object. Yeah, they're successful at it. At the heart of uh, UK with uh, the tabloid and all of that, I have a video about this on PYTE where I went to the root of how the misinformation started. All right. So it works very well in the UK. This is why they didn't dodge or jump over that uh, obstacle in the last election similar to the 2020 in America. The Amer American jumped that hurdle, but UK didn't because th their mind, because their mind have been poisoned, have been in control by the tabloid. All right, let's see here. Yes, it was in and master plan. Yeah, yeah, I've been saying this on my other channel. Okay, at last this is being reported. I hope it continues. And this is why I'm assuming my uh, channel is not being um, fairly, uh, monetized because a lot of truth is coming out w with little and minimal information that I was able to get. Okay, conservatives, okay, hence bre Brexit, that's why right, taking us away from our biggest trading black and security. Yeah, it, it's gonna be even worse. If some of you uh, go on my PYTE channel, there's a video that I have where I have the UK flag. And when I was l doing that video, I mean, there's many other information in there, but one in particular, I remember, I literally felt like I had an out of body experience. I was like, hey, like floating on in space, looking down on earth to see where the Commonwealth is located. And I was like, oh my God, they wanted to break all of this. Each one of those people have a special interest of those areas. And uh, yeah, it's happening. This is going to even going to get worse. Okay. Let's see here, and as we're seeing, and, and the worst thing is that the, the lies that they were feeding the, the Brits for Brexit, a lot of smart people bought it. They didn't see the bigger picture. So I have to blame not just the, the people who were feeding you the lie, I have to blame the, the UK citizen who actually went for it. Uh, it's all of your fault, not just them, because many of you are so smart, but you were so focused on race. This is what happened. All right. This is our cancer of society. They just threw the race card at you. They know they will galvanize you. You will do the work for them. And you did. And this is what's happening. I don't understand why uh, Bojo is still in position. I don't know why. Hey, it's going to get worse. I said I, this is the connection that I keep on saying. 
it connects all of us as much as we may not want to think about it. Look how many uh, Ukrainians are dying because of our failure to do to vote the right way. All of those people who voted for the Tories to remain in power, blame yourself for what's going on right now. This is as much as Bojo's fault as yours. Okay? Let's see here. There's a lot of things I skip. I, there's not much to say. Okay, like Brexit disaster. Yeah, and now splitting the country in half. Many of you still going for it. Brexit was washed a victory over Europe. That's right. That is right. All right, we take you guys out of European Union. All right, because they love money and are quite prepared to act as traders for money. All of them. Meanwhile, Brits trust them. That's the thing. That is why right. they just throw you some lies and you guys buy it. You can think and say, this is not right. Okay, ha, good one. Okay, there's no actual proof. Until then, it remains conspiracy theory. All right, that's those people. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, not that. Let's see. Yeah, this is probably uh, a, a troll. But anyway, let me move on. I don't want to create an hour worth of video. I keep on saying that, but I always go close to that next tweet there's this here okay i'm very happy to say that contrary to the wishes of certain oligarch kleptopia my book on how dirty money is conquering the world will remain available in all good bookshops kitapkosi is the greatest threat we face okay at the very least we should be able to read about it okay so this is the guy i saw it and um i'm not sure the full background of it i'm assuming he did his research this is my humble opinion on this because i wasn't following him but when i started seeing it over in, um on, on twitter and i said let me check it so i'm assuming he did his research and saw the root of certain problems and he wrote a book about it and one of the names that he mentioned in it uh, I think a company decided to sue him for defamation and then he went to court and then he won. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, let's see here. How long is some of the comments? Uh, there's a lot of comments. Let me read some of them so I don't come back here. Okay, and I must thank the partner in crimes who is standing with me here just as she has stood with me and with a great many other authors trying to tell the truth to power all along my indefatigable pu publisher. All right, who's this? I guess that's the publisher. Published director at William Collins Books, Hides and the Hebrides Whenever Possible. Okay, so this is a publisher of W.M. Collins Books. Okay, so he's thanking all the people who stood by him. All right, excellent. This is also a must read. Okay, our PM has betrayed our entire nation, regardless of your rosette color, color or views on Brexit. You have been betrayed by your government and fell. Uh, by the homeland security forces, every man, woman, and child betrayed forever. I mean, those who who vote for this, there were a lot of warning signs, and I think some of byline journalists were uh, giving you guys heads up, don't do this, this is wrong, but many of you did it anyway. There were warning signs, but you guys did it anyway. All right, so we have to blame some okay some of the brits for the things that's going on right now with the exception of some good journalists like this guy he had to go to court all right so i'm gonna stop reading this link let me go to uh the video i'm feeling it is available in all good bookstores <laughs> how are you feeling right now i'm feeling delighted especially on behalf of the absolutely courageous sources who helped me write this book which is about what i think is the most dangerous threat today to our freedom which is the rise of kleptocracy and I'm, I'm very today to our freedom which is the rise of kleptocracy and I'm, I'm very pleased that this attempt to censor this book has failed okay, okay. <laughs> so he won his case Okay, let me read this thread. Okay, well, this is interesting. At Tom Burgess, author of Cliptopia, How Dirty Money is Conquering the World, has just won the defamation action brought against him by one of the companies that features in his rather gripping investigation. Okay. Mr. Justice Nickling threw out the case this morning at a very early stage in the whole scheme of how defamation case work. All right, so that was like the first step. So the judge uh, just threw it out. Okay, so he proved his case. Okay, he then refused the claimant permission to appear. Wow, he did it on the spot, especially with the things that's going on right now. 
uh, to appeal and told them to pay Tom Burgess and publisher HarperCollins costs. Wow. Okay, cut a long story short, um, that's in parentheses, I'll leave you to read the book. Mr. Justin Nicol said the company concerned didn't have any ground to sue Tom Burgess over his investigation into allegation of corruption concerning Earl O'Gark's connection to the enterprise. Okay, Harper Collins said the case is an example of lawfare. Okay, quote, it is grossly unfair that yet again, Harper Collins and our author have had to risk substantial legal costs and personal liability defending public interest journalism. Wow. Is that, you know, he had to go to court to defend his things that is actually happening. Instead, so many Brits are so hooked up with misinformation. So this person who was telling the truth, he had to go to court to defend his truth. Wow. Okay, let's see here. Excellent. Now will be a perfect time for BBC News and BBC Paranormal or BBC News Night to interview Tom or Oliver uh, Bullis or Bill Browder to educate UK viewers on how London became the world's dark money capital and how wealthy Russians have donated to MPs, predominantly Tories. Okay, they did today. Oh, really? Okay. The the crypto cryptocrats of the world are united and Ukraine, they are using rockets, <laughs> okay, rockets and tanks in Zimbabwe and Kazakhstan tortured and in the West money. All right, so I don't know anything. Uh, bloody brilliant. Okay. Hmm. This is the, what is it? I think Byline have something on him. Um, a while back, it's not recent. You know, he is the greatest threat to uh, democracy. This guy down here. All right, what's his name again? <laughs> okay, with misinformation. Let's see here. Will he be um, issuing a refund now? Okay, let's see here. You are literally manipulating individuals and using the threat of the threat of World War III to profit off of backs of many who have very little to help fund a lawsuit against one of the richest men in the world. This is why Harry won't stop uh, with the lawsuits uh, each time they do something stupid. I don't know you, but I hope uh, if books get burned, yours is the first in the flame. Really? Is that what this person here? Russia Today has gone off air in UK. Free view. <laughs> All right, let me move on. Uh, uh, let's see here. But the other pro and channel is still up. What is called, oh, right, GN News. Yep, that's the new channel that they just created. Oh, my goodness. We are seeing it going. This is what happened when you put evil people in power and you give them a freaking, um, uh, the code for nuclear weapon. This is what happened. This is what happened. It's not going to stop yet. All right. This is Brian Cape Cod. Not enough people realize what a shocking failure press, quote, self-regulation by uh, IPSO News is and how it's systematically letting readers and complaints down. I, I retweeted this out. I think that's probably me who retweeted that. Uh, that's my here. Where I said, actually, let's click on it. Yeah, that's me. This is why Prince Harry doesn't bother with, with them. Yeah, see? And I have five people who like it and three retweet. All right, so let me go back to that. All right, someone comment on this, but I'm going to go into, into the link. The link of that will be in the description. Okay, British Journalism Review. How long is this? Okay, let's see here. Uh, IPSO should be ashamed, Steve Barnett. The link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, let me read. As a kid growing up, in a close-knit North London Jewish family, I was part of a Friday night ritual that was replicated in thousands of Jewish homes across the country. We will go to my grand grandmother's for supper, featuring the best chicken soup, uh, chicken soup this side of the Atlantic. We'll listen to a couple of perfunctory prayers over wine and bread, disagree violently over chopped liver about the political controversy of the day and then settle down to discuss that day's required reading the newly delivered Jewish Chronicle. Okay, top of the reading agenda was uh, invariably the quote, hatch, match, and dispatch, end quote, page which will pump sight for many grandparents at the loss of another distant relative, then shrieks for my parents at some long forgotten awkward school friend who had surfaced with a partner and or child. 
Okay, but okay, what's this about? I thought it was like some sort of review regarding IPSO. Okay, top of the reading. Uh, uh, is that what I? Yeah, I read that. Uh, but that was the lighter that was the lighter side of the paper. Its more serious side was a digest of reliable news and information about the Jewish community and issue that matters to British Jews. It was not a propaganda sheet, nor a mindless cheerleader for Israel, while of course supporting the relatively young Jewish state. Its opinion page will encourage earnest debate and disagreement about difficult foreign policy decisions. Importantly, the news page Haven for good, accurate journalism about the Jewish community and were insulated from the opinion page. It was the Jewish paper of record, no longer. Over the last few years, for whatever reason, the, I guess that's the name of the newspaper, JC appeared to have suffered a catastrophic failure of journalistic standard which has shortchanged its readers, damaged the victims of its serial inaccuracies, and left a reputable and tattered shameful despite multiple transgression. The so-called press, quote, regulator, that's end quote, IPSO, which we may, uh, which remember was started as the quote toughest regulator in the western world has refused to intervene so another word that jewish paper who was or whatever the paper jc i guess that's the name of that was uh, doing misinformation and then they bring it up to ipso which they claim themselves to be the toughest regulator okay so they didn't do it okay has refused to intervene like the same thing with harry they just turn a blind eye. This is why Harry goes straight to the court. All right. The JC's uh, charge sheet is long and depressing since 2018. It has been found by IPSO Complaint Committee, which is notoriously reluctant to find fault with member of publication, <laughs> same thing with Harry, to have breached the editor's code 33 times. Even worse, over the same period, it has admitted and paid damages for no fewer than four serious libels. In November 2019, that's really recently, uh, following a series of complaints arising from four separate articles, IPSO concluded that its clause, uh, clause one on accuracy has been breached on, quote, multiple occasions, end quote, in relation to a single complaint, its complaint committee, Quote, expressed significant concern and quote over how the complaint had been handled by the paper including failure to respond to IPSO questions and conclude that quote the publication conduct during the IPSO investigation was unacceptable and quote its concerns were quote drawn to the attention and quote of IPSO standard department I don't know maybe I should stop Let's see. I see the same thing that happened to... I'll leave this link in the description for you. Because I see it's the same thing that happened with um, Harry. He saw they were doing, you know, saying lies about him. He made a complaint and then they ignore him. From this point on, he stopped going to them. He goes straight to the court. And this is why he will not settle with these people. So it's the same thing. Okay, IPSO is mentioned in so many um, of this here. All right, so I'm going to leave the link in the description. I see the same pattern is repeating. All right, so let's go to the next tweet that I have for you guys. Same thing. All right, they just turn a blind eye. Let's see, what's this tweet about? Okay, Putin wars on Ukraine has entered its next phase, one of destruction and slaughter of civilians. It is also a part of Putin's world war, a war on the civilized world of international law, democracy, and any threat to his power, which he declared long ago. One of 13. All right, this is a threat. The free world's denial of this war and decades of appeasement allowed Putin to threaten and conquer a board while turning Russia into a police state. The price to stop him has up every time he has advanced unchallenged. That is true. Ukrainians are paying that price in blood. Okay, if Putin is not stopped now, not preventing from destroying Ukrainian and committing genocide against its people, there will be the next time, okay, there will be a next time and it will be a NATO. <laughs> With uh, unprecedented nuclear threat, do not let Putin escalate again in a time and place at his choosing. <laughs> Everyone is uh, quoting my 2015 book, Winter is Coming, 
<laughs> Look at me where I say uh, in one of my uh, thumbnails, I call it the storm is coming. Okay. D don't be surprised. The storm is coming. That's just remind me of this. I didn't even know this guy existed until um, now, I guess. Okay, so he have a book that said, uh, Winter is Coming and saying I was right. And quote, listen to Kas uh, Kasparov. I hope I pronounced it right. End quote. But will you still listen when I said this will take sacrifice and risk, not just wheat and gas price, not just empty chalet and unemployed lobbyists. Easy is over. <laughs> That's right, we had it, but everybody was turning a blind eye. Or, okay, his thread continue. Or will you say that I am irrational, blinded by hate, as I heard in 2015? Hmm. I hope not. Putin must be stopped because the unthinkable is now the possible. Hmm. Everybody with great mind who could read between the lines have seen it. It's not just me. I didn't have a crystal ball in front of me. A lot of people saw it. The world has awoken at long last and many steps i recommended last week are happening it's not enough okay my recommendation one i cannot demand nato attack russia forces directly but i can speak from history there's the thing we have to learn history that's the thing okay i didn't even know what he said after that but he's right from this point on okay but i can speak from history and knowledge of putin a dictator who has already crossed every line cannot be prevented from escalating with restraint if he destroy ukraine he won't stop that's right he won't stop there that he will go to the next one all right lucy so many people uh every time they said they want to retire where do they want to retire in europe because europe was free of issues and all of that but he's like he doesn't like that he wants to control everybody in terms of um, not only and control the mind the power and also of uh the term of power that I'm talking about in terms of natural uh, resources, okay, gas, oil, this kind of thing. And this is why I bought the movie The Set, okay, this is one of the examples that I've been saying, all right. I mentioned it on many of my videos on PYTE. All right, two, so we are not trying to appeal to the murderer in his bunker in the youth, uh, Euro. Uh, the message is those who carry out his orders. That is right. He's right. Will they? <laughs> Do they all wish to die? Putin will escalate anyway if he is not stopped now. He will, as he always has before, and the price will be higher. That is true. Okay. And for the UK, start from home. Stop all those Tories people who's uh, en enable these people. Okay. <laughs> it start from home as well. All right. Three, send Russia to the technological stone age. No support, no parts, no services. Oil boycotts aren't necessary if oil tech is unavailable. The industry will grind to a halt. This means a war footing and sacrificing, retooling and increasing production to substitute its war. <laughs> Okay, for it's always tragic that ordinary people suffer, but they are not being bombed in their homes like Ukrainians. Every element of Russian society that can pressure Putin must know they have to choose between him and everything else. That's right. He is absolutely right. This is a time where some of us need to make that sacrifice. And in PYTE channel, I've been saying something like, I think uh, my mom generation and probably perhaps... Uh, my grandmother's generation maybe um they do enough they just sit back but the thing is that as i'm saying that they didn't do enough but this generation what they did is that they tried to suppress them they put where i talk about they put uh, liquor stores in every uh, corners to numb them uh, create the aids pandemic all of this to you know prevent them from fighting they give them a, a problem to deal in so they could continue their uh their objective so now this is the time where all of us are aware of the situation of the problem is to make sure to do the right thing make do the right thing all right sacrifice if we have to sacrifice for our kids okay as i'm saying this i'm thinking of all uh, i believe there was a ukrainian woman who gave birth amidst of all of all of that these are the kids who's gonna remember well right now the baby doesn't remember but some other kids who's holding their mom's hand their 
parents are carrying them okay those who have a little sense of what's going on they don't want who's gonna remember this time now so we need to make the ultimate sacrifice to stop this thing and then when we do stop it is to not stop be vigilant because when uh let's say uh one of the worst minded people is gone there's gonna be another one Okay, who's going to be empowered by his kind of uh, barbaric behavior. So when one is gone, be prepared for the next one. Because throughout history, we've seen this kind of thing. Okay, we have, uh, what's that guy? Uh, Hitler. Once he's done, so many others have rise. Okay, now and our time is putting. And, and we've been knowing it. Many of us just turn a blind eye. Okay, we rather... Uh, uh, I guess embrace material stuff money and all of that but once uh, he's destroying everything what money is gonna do for you what the nicest car gonna do for you when your road is off uh, effed up okay so material things uh, is not gonna do much for you like in one of my videos, I remember uh, I said if you have at least three or four cars in a time like this okay which one are you gonna um, take okay just when you're buying car you know, if you are needed car, you know, I cannot tell you what to do with your money. But uh, in a situation like that, when there is war or fire, you can only take one. So this is the same thing is being played out here. You have to put yourself in question, make certain sacrifice to make sure you whatever is happening right now to stop it. And then make sure your kids are aware of what's going on now and be vigilant for the next generation. OK, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Five clear message. Okay. All right. Four, it's always tragic that ordinary people suffer, but they are not being bombed in their homes like Ukrainians. Every element of Russian society that can pressure Putin must know they have to choose between him and everything else. Some will clench to him, but for, uh, for how long? That is true. All right. Five clear message to Russian general that uh, they will suffer annihilation. If one inch of NATO is touched, send UKR every weapon, including the jets that have been blocked, as if Putin cares about the difference. Stop guessing about his thought and do what is needed. That is right. That is right. Because right now he doesn't care. All right. When somebody doesn't care, especially now he's already know that he's being charged for war crimes, he has nothing to lose. Okay. When you look at uh, what happened to those uh, Hitler regime, all right, many of them went on a run. So I see almost the same thing is happening if we, uh, if we do the right thing. If we don't do the right thing, whatever Hitler left off, he's going to carry it on. Okay. Six, every day Ukraine and Jew gives, gives opportunity to communicate this catastrophe to the only people who can really stop Putin, the Russian people, from oligarchs to commanders to protesters. That's why. Let all in the power vertical know they will be treated as war criminal. They are. That's right. He is right. Okay. Seven, leave nothing in reserve. Speed is of the essence to stop payment and catch them and their assets before they hide. Threat, <laughs> that is true. Threat like, quote, he doesn't know what's coming and quote, don't work if Putin doesn't believe you. <laughs> show him and show Russian there is no way back with Putin. Never. Okay. Eight, root out of corrupt politician, businessman, and dark money that corrupt and uh, a generation to turn a blind eye or serve author authoritarian regime, follow the donation, payment, gifts, influence, hold them accountable down with Putin and his appeasers. Glory to Ukraine. KPS to all, all the officials and media, stop calling Putin residents. <laughs> okay, he is a dictator. Words have power. He does not deserve a democratic title. F you, <laughs> F your style guide, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. Okay, my first set of recommendations from February 24. Most were already made in 2014. So that's another thread he did here. Let's go into it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, after a year of warning were ignored and hearing Gary, you were right. All them day today, I'll repeat uh, what I said in 2014. Stop telling me I was right and listen to what I'm saying now. My recommendation, one of five. Okay. That was in February. All right, not too long ago, last month. 
All right, support Ukraine military immediately, everything but boots on the ground. All weapons until cyber bankrupt Putin's war machine, freeze and seize Russia's finances and those of him and his gang, kick Russia out of every intel and financial institution, page Interpol, okay? We call all ambassadors from Russia. There is no point in talking. The new unified message is, quote, stop or be isolated completely. Ban all elements of Putin global propaganda machine turn them off shut <laughs> shut them down send them home stop helping the dictators spread lies and hate okay expose and act against Putin's lackeys and the free world if uh, Schroeder and his ilk continue to work for Putin bring charges as the owners and advertisers of network platforming Putin propagandists like Carlson while they allowed it <laughs> replace Russia oil and gas pressure OPEC increase production we open keystone okay you can't save the planet if you don't save the people on it <laughs> acknowledge there will be costs and sacrifices we await too long the price is high but it will only get higher it's time to fight <laughs> cannot ignore the po political fifth column of uh, putinist from the far right and left and eu to the uh, tankies and trump <laughs> and his gop followers in the u.s that's right he knows what he's talking about i agree with him they may have the right to support a brutal dictator's war in order to criticize biden but it's disgusting and anti-american do not forget i wish every republican heard this part those people who are supporting trump and all of this the rest of the world will not forget and that also is gonna bring down the u.s too if the rest of the world is it believe me you'll find a lot of other countries who will jump on the bandwagon to hate on america so those gop who's draining down the country need to hate this part okay and the other thing this thing made me realize it's one of my videos i was making a, a whole bunch of uh, rent and uh and I said in that ranting video is that uh, the EU um, better when they see African American is being killed in the US they better speak up because if it wasn't for African American Native American who went out a lot of other minorities I probably don't mention here but uh, Hispanics and all of that who stood on line despite all the vote blacks that the GOP put against us to go out and vote to put Biden here to do the right thing to support uh, the EU Ukraine and all of that so this is my return to this guy's uh, comment here regarding the GOP they're not gonna forget okay they're taking down the country down with uh, with the rest of us that is right that is right let's see here names of 35 Russian oligarchs okay two minutes all right i'm gonna stop here i don't want to go further into this <laughs> wow wow 79 takes part in basic combat training for civilian organized by ukraine national guard a maripol the donkey region and sunday all right <laughs> wow 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 all right let i think that's it that i have for this what is this all right the next two tweet that i have is gonna appear on pure yte and it's only two tweets all right so the next one will be on pure yte you know what let me do a prayer for what's going on in ukraine all right what can i say prayer all right for do the right thing i shut it down i was thinking a lot uh to do the right thing okay for prayer for courage to do the right thing all right let's go straight to the image because i have two tweets to read for the next uh video which is gonna be on pure yte okay dear god i am sick and tired of being sick and tired i reach forward today touch the hem of your garment and receive my healing yes i want to get well give me the faith to walk in freedom and victory in jesus name amen let's pick something else let's pick this one prayer for oh no i don't want that one let's do this one heavenly father so many times i struggle with knowing what to do but not wanting to do it maybe this is it i either don't have the energy time or money to spend on things even though i know it will make me better and those around me better i pray that you give me the courage means and energy to do the right thing for the harvest is not now but in heaven amen all right so i'll stick with that one um for those who are you know 
who are empowered to do the right thing, I hope you take the proper step to do the right thing because life doesn't have to be that way. Okay, life doesn't have to be that way. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share if you want to support this channel. There's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. All right, or watch the commercials. <laughs>